Now, having made my stroke appearance, I'd like to apply something similar to that to the blue stroke that's on the right hand side. So the easiest way to do that is to go to the window menu, go down the list and I can choose graphic styles. Now, this will allow us to capture the appearance of our first stroke, providing it's still selected. And I'll just make this a little bit smaller. So we have a series of them in here that are provided by Illustrator. But as long as your path selected, you can hover over the plus at the bottom in there and choose new graphic style. And it will add the one in there. So we get our appearance. Now you can rename that. So if I go to the panel flyout menu in here and you can choose small list view and that will give you a name. You can click on that arrow dotted and press return. Then it allows me to rename it. You will probably find, however, that it's easier just to change the view back to thumbnail view because it makes the panel more compact. So I'll just make that touch smaller. And then I can click away from that path, hold down the space bar and pan across to where the other path is. Just move this to the side. And then with that selected now, I can go down to my graphic style and it applies exactly the same properties. All that remains now is for me to go to the properties panel and change the stroke color from red to blue to reinstate its original color. And if I wish to, I could always go back to graphic styles click on the plus and I could then add that style with the different color in there. So whenever you create something inside of Illustrator, rather than having to go through the process of modifying its properties all over again, you can instead turn it into a graphic style and reuse it anywhere in the current document.